guys and welcome back. So this video is a little bit different. As many of you know, we are due to pick up our new fur baby in literally a matter of days. I am so, so, so excited. It's been a very, very long three weeks. Um, when we went to view um, the litter of puppies, they weren't ready for around three weeks. They're about five weeks old when we went to view them. And oh my God, I absolutely wanted to take every single one of them home there and then, but obviously you can't do that. Um, as you may have seen from one of my previous videos, we picked our fur baby. He is a boy miniature schnauzer. And as I've said before, we are so in love with him and we are so excited to welcome him into our home. Um, so in readiness um, for him coming home, I have been buying absolutely everything. Um, so I thought I would do a little puppy haul with you, getting ready to bring home our new fur baby. Um, so I have pretty much got a lot of the stuff in supermarkets. So Aldi being one of them, they actually had a, a dog as a dog, a pet event um, a couple of weeks ago. So I literally went on there and ordered a load of stuff. So I'm gonna show you that. Um, I also went into home bargains. I have this massive bag of stuff that I picked up. Um, I also have a few household things that I picked up as well. So I'm probably gonna show you those because well, everybody loves a good home bargains haul, right? So um, we went in home bargains as well. Um, and I've also um, picked up some stuff in pound structure, just some blankets as well that I'm going to show you, but it's basically just a getting ready to bring home our new puppy um, and just show you some of the bits that I've picked up because if any of you are thinking of getting a puppy then I definitely recommend you know hitting up some of the supermarkets because I did go in pets at home and I'm not going to lie to you a lot of the stuff in there was super expensive and let's be honest they're puppies they're probably going to chew a lot of stuff up I didn't want to waste you know, money on stuff that I'll probably have to replace. Um, so anyway, without further ado, if you would like to see what I've bought for our puppy, then please keep watching. So I'm gonna start with what I bought in Aldi. Um, I actually have two big boxes. Um, it looks it looks a lot more than what it actually is, but we ordered we've ha have had to order two of everything because I um, work full time in an office so the days that I'm in the office, our puppy will be going to stay with my mum during the day and then I'll pick him up. Um, so it's a doggy daycare for him um, and my mum is so excited to have him. So yeah, so we picked up some bits um, in uh, Aldi at the, in the puppy event. I'll show you these bits later. So we ordered two dog beds. Um, I think we ended up getting the medium sized dog beds. They're grey, so they fit quite nicely with our decor. Um, they're super soft. Um, Dan's mum actually recommended that we pick up the dog beds from Aldi because they have a dog and he absolutely loves his dog bed. So I was really keen to get these. I think I literally paid £10 for one of these dog beds. The puppy, the dog event was actually um, a couple of weeks ago. So I'm not sure if you'll still be able to get these in Aldi. You may already have got them. Um, if you're anything like my future mother-in-law, then she's hot on it when it comes to an Aldi event. Um, but yeah, they're such good quality and they're so, they feel so comfy. So I feel comfortable letting our pup sleep in this. Um, so we've bought two of these, one for our house and one for my mum's house so that he can be super comfy on the daisies around my mum's for doggy daycare. Um, so yeah, pretty much in this box is just two um, dog beds. Um, and then we also got some poo bags. So um, these actually smell of lemon. And my friend Hayley, who actually got a puppy um, probably about a month ago now, so her little um, toy poodle, I think I might have mentioned him before, she recommended these. Um, so my mother-in-law actually picked these up for us in Aldi. Um, but yeah, I mean, responsible dog owner, pick up after your dog, but yeah, poo bags, and I'm sure I'll be investing in many, many more bags of these. Moving on to, so moving on to the next box, I then picked up um, a mat for some dog bowls to go in the kitchen. I picked a red one because, well, red is my favourite colour, um, and it's quite a big big mat so it should save any spills of any dog food when he's we're feeding our puppy um 
It doesn't really go with my kitchen, so I'm going to see how I feel about this when I actually put it out in the kitchen. But it, I think it was about £3. Um, so for the initial stage of when we bring him home, um, absolutely love this. And yeah, it feels like really good quality and it'll stop his bowls from slipping around on the, the tiles as well. Um, we then picked up some puppy pads because puppies have accidents and this is probably the one thing that we're a little bit nervous about is house training our puppy. I'm sure it will be absolutely fine, but I am a little bit nervous. I've not actually ever had my own dog. Um, I've had, my family have all had pets. My mum had a dog, Dan's family, they all have dogs. But I've never had to actually toilet train my own dog. So I am a little bit nervous about it, but... It's all part of the fun and yeah, I'm ready for it. I literally can't wait to bring him home now. So we picked up a pack of 100 puppy pads. Um, I'm not sure, I'm sure we'll probably get through a lot of them. This pack is absolutely massive. Um, but yeah, this was 10 pounds, 10 pounds. So I think that's such good value for 100 puppy pads. I picked up this cute little giraffe. I think he squeaked. Yeah, so this cute little giraffe for him as well. I just love a little cuddly toy so hopefully he'll snuggle up to that in in the night i can't talk so hopefully he will snuggle up to that in the evenings when you get me put him down to bed but yeah love that um, and then we also got him a treat toy so i think you can pop in little treats and the aim of the game is for him to get the the treats out of the toy so that should keep him occupied hopefully um so yeah and that was three pounds and i think the giraffe was five pounds so bargain absolutely love it so that was pretty much all that we got from aldi um i then picked up a dog lead um we've bought a retractable one obviously he can't go out until he's had all of his jabs but i wanted to make sure that i got one ready for when we can take him out so i then picked up a um harness for him i actually picked this up off of amazon um i had looked in um tesco when i picked up the um lead but i actually wanted a black harness for him so i actually just got this on amazon it was 10 pounds so i think 9.99 so 10 pounds um, who mean who's arguing over a penny not me um it is a doodle bone um harness and i got it in size small um and i think i can yeah i can definitely adjust it so hopefully that will fit him um i did look at the extra small because obviously he is going to be quite small when we bring him home but yeah i wanted something that will last him and i know that i can adjust this so that should hopefully be fine for him as well um i then also picked up i don't actually know where it's gone found it so we've actually picked up a collar for him we, again i picked this up on amazon i wanted a yellow collar for him because he's all black i wanted something that would really stand out so it's just a um, yellow nylon collar it's by um blueberry pet um i would love him to have a leather collar but obviously he is quite small and he is going to grow so i thought i wouldn't get him a leather one until he's a little bit bigger um, and this is adjustable and it was only, again, it was £10 off of Amazon. Um, so if it doesn't last him, I have adjusted it to the biggest size. So I'll probably have to get him another one um, in, an, in a couple of weeks or in the next month or so because they do grow really quick, which is such a shame because I want him to stay small forever. But he is a minute just now, so he's not going to get that big. Um, but yeah, I've got him that. And we've also got him a name tag as well. I'm not going to show you his name because we're not announcing his name until we bring him home. And he's finally part of our family. Um, but yeah, we've got him a little um, dog bone name tag as well. Um, and yeah, obviously we'll just put that on every collar that we get for him. Um, we then also got off of Amazon um, a pre uh, premium pet single car seat um and then this is just to go in the car so that when i'm having to you know take him on the mornings to my mum he can travel safely and in comfort <laughs> um so yeah i've got him this um in car pet seat um it doesn't actually uh, some of them do come with a clip that you can attach to the harness this one doesn't um so i am just going to judge it and see how he gets on if i do need to um you know secure him into the car because you know if he's jumping in and out of the car seat then you can actually buy um a, a you know car seat um, adapter so i can you know secure him into the car but yeah we'll just see how we get on um 
I mean, coming home when we pick him up, I'm probably going to have him on my lap the whole way coming home because I just want to cuddle him so, so much. So, yeah, we got him that. Um, and then I also went in to um, Pound Stretcher. I picked up two of these um, little pet fleeces. These were £2.49 each. I mean, that is such a bargain. Um, so yeah, just picked up loads of blankets. Um, I would like to obviously get him some snazzy blankets, but let's be honest, as I've said, he is a puppy, so he's probably gonna chew a lot of his stuff. So once he's grown out of the chewing stage, then I'm, I'll replace him anything that he's ruined and, you know, with nicer things for him. Also picked up in Pets at Home this, um, ball pin slicker, um, dog grooming brush, um, because he's a miniature schnauzer, obviously their fur is relatively longer, um, so I want to make sure that I can groom him on a daily basis. Um, miniature schnauzers, they aren't known for shedding, um, so we shouldn't hopefully have lots of fur everywhere, but, you know, I want to make sure that he's groomed and none of his hair gets matted, um, so yeah, pick that up, and I think that was about £5, so... That's probably the only cheap thing I found in Pets at Home, not gonna lie to you. Pets at Home is super expensive, so this is why I've gone to Aldi, I've gone to Home Bargains, and I've got a lot of stuff in the supermarkets or online because Pets at Home is just not cheap. And the reality is puppies are going to ruin a lot of the things that they, that we, you know, that we give them. So, um, yeah, I mean, you know, going forward, they actually have a really nice collar in there, that which is reasonable. They do have some reasonable stuff, but, you know, reasonably priced stuff, but not everything is reasonably priced. So I do think they maybe need to, like, you know, meet in the middle. Um, but, yeah, really pleased with that. Um, we are then moving on to Home Bargains bag. So in Home Bargains, um, as I've mentioned, we've had to pick up pretty much two of everything because he is going to be going to my mum's um, during the week when I'm at work. Um... So I picked up two of these dog bowls. I kid you not, these were, I think, 89p. I have to see if I can find the receipt. The receipt's in the bottom of the bag. Not that one. Here we go. Yeah, these, were, these pet bowls were 89p. So these are gonna go to my mum and they actually have um, rubber bottoms, so they're non-slip. So um, yeah. 89p one for his water one for his food so really pleased with those i then picked up two china dog bowls to cut stay at our house um these were actually one pounds 49 each so i just think they're so cute one white one black um and yeah they were one pounds 49 um i looked in pets at home and i'm kid you not a bowl like this size was pushing eight nine pounds just for one of them the fact that i so the fact that i picked up two of these for three pounds um yeah absolute bargain and, and they just feel like really good quality they're not super heavy um but that's fine um as i said you know as time goes on i'll probably replace a lot of his things anyway but yeah three pounds for two bowls absolute bargain uh, we then picked we've been picking up lots of toys for him um these a lot of these in here are from so i picked up these two toys for him in home bargains um i'm not really sure how much these were i don't think they were very expensive uh one was 89p and this one was one pounds 29 so i picked up these two toys for him um i've then also picked him up some mini tennis balls um, I got this one, it was a donut. I just thought it was really cute and I got that in Tesco's. Um, I then got him this one. Oh, I actually think, oh, I got this one in Asda. That was a pound. Um, are there any others in here? Oh, yeah, I got him a newspaper. That was in Tesco's, one pound. And I've also got him a football as well because his dad is football mad, so it's only right that he had a football, and I think it squeaks as well. Yeah, so we've got him a football, and I think I think that was about a pound from Tesco's. Um, so yeah, I mean, oh, and we've also picked up 
because I think we're going to need it. Some vanish carpet cleaner. I actually did see Mrs. Hinch mention about, I think it's the Dr. Beckman carpet cleaner, which comes with a brush on the end. So I actually think I'm going to get that to use in our house, but I'm going to give this to my mum just in case he has any accidents at my mum's house. Then she's got this so she can clean up after him, especially if he has an accident on the carpet. Then she's got this. But yeah, I think I picked this up in Home Bargains and it was, how much was it? £3.49 so absolute bargain um and it's yeah I think it's 600 mil on, so that should hopefully last her um a good while um and then also in home bargains these are like non-pet related but well I'll show you them anyway um I picked up a new washing line and I think that was how much was that $3.99 so we had we've had one of these before but we actually got it in Asda I think it's probably similar price and it lasted about four years um so we needed a replacement and yeah $3.99 we've actually already put it out in the garden um because you know that one weekend where the sun was nice we were able to hang out our wash in so yeah $3.99 absolute bargain I then also picked up some plugins because, well, I'm obsessed with plugins. Who is it? And these are lavender smelling ones. Mrs. Hinch is obsessed with lavender, so now I want some lavender in my house. So, yeah, absolutely love these. Um, I then picked up two little homey bits that I wanted to show you. So I picked this up, this little home letter organiser. This is actually going to go in my kitchen. I have one... Um, it's not it's a little bit similar to this but this one actually has these two little compartments on the front so i can obviously store pens um and little post-it notes in there and then store any post in the back pit back compartment um but yeah i just thought it was really cute and it's a bit better than my other one that i've got in the kitchen already um and this was only again three pounds 49 so absolute bargain and it just feels a lot better quality than one that i've got in my kitchen um so yeah really happy with that um, and then I also picked up this little pineapple gold pineapple dish absolutely love this I actually think this was about a pound let me have a look no I tell a lie it was two pounds 49 um, but this is going to go in my bedroom just on the um on the chest of drawers so we can just keep things like our car keys and, and things like that in there but yeah just love it because um in our bedroom it is we do have gold accessories so yeah £2.49 love it and I love a pineapple those who know me know I love a pineapple pretty much everything that I get bought has pineapples on it so yeah really pleased with that I think we've pretty much got everything that we need um for our pup who is coming home on Saturday um I think we probably could get him some more toys probably not for here I mean I'm probably gonna buy him toys every time I pop into the local supermarket or a local pet store or home bargains or Aldi I'll probably just end up buying him toys every time I go in but the more the better because you know it's good for him to have things that are safe for him to chew on um, and obviously as I said he's going to my mum's so I want to make sure that there's plenty of things for him at my mum's to keep him occupied as well so he's not chewing her carpet or furniture um, but yeah anyway I hope you enjoyed this video if you did then please give it a thumbs up um, if you do want to keep seeing videos from me and you would like to meet our new pup because I am going to do a coming home video with him then don't forget to hit that subscribe button but until next time, I hope you all have a great day. Bye.